Hello everyone and welcome back here to our Blythe Spartans FM22 series. Today's episode sees us taking on Fylde in the semi-final of the FA Trophy. It is a two-legged affair and this is the same stage we got knocked out of the FA Trophy last year. Can we get it done this year? Filed are in the National League North. We faced off against them last season in the league. This year they are flying in the league. They are sitting top of the table. But at the end of the day, they are a league below us. So we should be the favorite of the two teams. We just have to go out there and get it done. Here is how we've gotten on since the last time you saw us. After that Halifax game, we took on Eastleigh. It was a thrilling 3-3 draw in that game. Two goals after the 90th minute. Eastleigh went up in the 92nd. They surely thought that was the winner. But Mo Torre got himself a hat trick and bagged the equalizer in the 95th minute. Big point on the road there. Then we got four victories in a row. Three of them in the league. Southend, Outershot, and Maidenhead all falling in the league. Before we took on Torquay in the quarterfinal of the FA Trophy. And it was a 3-2 victory. Niall Watson getting the game winner in the 90th minute. A big fight back was needed in that as we went 2-0 down. But Niall Watson firing us home to the semifinal in the 90th minute there. Then we had a draw against Yevil. Then a 4-1 victory over Woking. Before we faced off against league favorites Wrexham. And it was a 1-1 draw in that game. So as things stand, we are in 4th place after 41 games have been played. Wrexham and Outershot still the two league leaders. However, Wrexham have been dropping points. Outershot has a game in hand where they could overtake Wrexham. And Chesterfield also have a game in hand on Wrexham. And a victory in their game could see them just one point behind on 86 points. However, for us, I don't think uh, we have a realistic chance of getting back into it. The three teams ahead of us would have to have a very, very big collapse. And to have that happen to three teams is, well, not going to happen now, is it? We have not quite secured our playoff spot just yet. Though we are just one result away from doing that. Well, we also have one new signing to the team. We have a player on loan from Huddersfield. And that is Luke Aina. A 19 year old center back. A Congolese youth international. He has made four appearances here at the club. And has bagged himself a goal as well. Now, looking at today's team, we are facing four players that are out suspended. So, back line is Joe Brown, Toby Lees, Luke Aina, and Connor Brown. Midfield of Sean Reed and Abdi Sharif. Ali O'Donnell Clark and Torre leading the line. So, uh, our midfield and attacking unit is... Pretty much all available, except Niall Watson is unavailable. The back line is a bit of a worry. That will see Alfie Grant on the bench because we don't have any other fullbacks. As Michael Little and Carl Byrne are out suspended. We have also had our youth intake. And we have four of them training with the first team. They are our best prospects. So we'll just quickly go over them. We have a left back, Liam Garside. And he has the potential to be a, a solid player for us. 
not likely to get on the field this season. But you can see his uh, mental attributes in particular are very, very promising. And he has a lot of potential. So that is youth prospect number one. Next up is Christopher Weir, a uh, young right back. And another player I am excited to see how he develops. Slightly uh, rated better for current ability. Uh, and he has high potential as well. So we are getting some uh, good fullback prospects here. Then we have a Welsh midfielder, Jonathan Baven. Probably our highest rated prospect. And someone I am definitely expecting to see on the field. Again, maybe not this year. But next year, I think he has a chance to get some game time off the bench and I'm really excited to see that he is either footed and then last up we have a striker Karen Garcia from Trinidad and Tobago he is a bit more raw than the other prospects but again very highly rated and I'm hoping he uh, he's able to get caught up to the Trinidad youth team help him develop a little bit better as well but all of them will be training with our senior squad to help their development but that is our team and that is our youth prospects from our intake this year significantly better than last season but let's go ahead and jump into the first leg here at Tome at Croft Park to take on Fylde. Come on, the Spartans. Finally, our first highlight, it is going to be a throw-in for the Spartans. Connor Brown with a long throw up to Mo Torre. Not able to get that header on target. And that is how we go into halftime. A goal is draw here to open up the first half. We are finding it a bit hard to break Fylde down here. They certainly look like they are playing for the draw in this first leg. They do have three yellow cards they picked up in the first half. So that is something to keep an eye on. But we definitely need to have a better second half here. Let's find a way to break them down and get that opening goal. First highlight of the second half. It is a filed throw when they play it back to their keeper. They are working the ball up well here. And a ton of space. Where is Joe Brown? Oh my gosh, they hit the post. Joe Brown, our left back, just nowhere to be found there. Very easily could have conceded the first goal there. But we are going to make our first substitution. Lewis McNall is going to come on for Jamie Clark, who was playing extremely poorly out there. 6.1. Very disappointing from him. So on comes Lewis McNall. Still looking for an improvement from our team here. Highlight. We are finally on the ball here. Can we get a uh, late goal? 70th minute now. Connor Brown plays it up to McNall. There we go. Lewis McNall plays it to Connor Brown. Who then picks out that McNall run. Who fires it past the keeper. 1-0. Let's go, Lewis McNall. Great finish. Great one, too, with Connor Brown. That is more like it. Let's go ahead and make our final two substitutions. Alfie Grant is going to come on for Joe Brown. And Jordan Hickey on for J.J. O'Donnell. Well, another highlight here for the Spartans. And off the long throw... We had a real good opportunity, but the keeper claims that. And the highlight is continuing here, but Toby Lease is able to pick up that misguided pass from the keeper. We play it back to Mitchell, up to Aina. He's bringing it forward, plays it over to Hickey, who's picking out McNall on that run. Oh, what a goal! I thought he had no chance at that, but he hits it first time on his weaker right foot. And I don't know, are we sure that is his weaker foot? Because what a hit that was. 
2-0. Wow, what a strike. And this sets us up very, very nicely now. Corner for the Spartans now. Oh, Aina looking for the headed goal. But it goes just over. Oh, and we have one more highlight to end off this game. Could we get goal number three? Go on, Jordan Hickey. There it is. 3-0 to the Spartans. Lewis McNall, two goals and an assist. Making a case, why did we not start him? But on the flip side, look at me. Great manager, bring him in for that impact. And he has delivered 3-0. We are looking very, very good to advance to the final now. Full-time whistle. What a great final 20 minutes of the game that was. And surely, we have a foot in in the final. Okay, so I have actually decided for the second game we're going to take on Weymouth. As we are up 3-0 in the first leg, surely we're going to be advancing to the final. If we don't, well, maybe I should just resign as the manager. So instead, we are going to be playing Weymouth, the team that I managed in my FM20 series. So it is the Spartans versus the Terras. We're going to be playing away at the Bob Lucas Stadium. Rotated squad for today. Little, Buttle, Grant, and Byrne all coming into the back line. Our youngster, Jonathan Bavend, making his senior debut today. Alongside of Jordan Hickey in midfield. McGowan, McNall, Watson, and Dan McGuire. Our attacking players. Let's go ahead and we'll jump into this game here. Let's pick up the big three points. We have a highlight here. It's going to be a corner for the Spartans. Little whips it in. Kamaro Grant heading home his fifth goal of the season. 1-0 to the Spartans. 13 minutes in. Off to a flyer here. Great delivery by Michael Little. Kamaro Grant. Rising above the defense. 1-0. Let's go. It's a free kick in a very dangerous position here. I don't like this. Oh, thankfully they shoot just over from that free kick. That was a very, very good position for them. Thankfully not on target. And that is how we go into halftime here. A 1-0 lead for the Spartans. Though Weymouth not out of the game yet. They are creating a few opportunities for themselves. So we need to keep up our intensity here in the second half. See if we can find a, another goal or two. But we have put ourselves in a good position here. Now let's just see it out. Throw in for the Spartans. Little is looking to get it in the box. It's headed away. But our youngster Bevan picks that loose ball up. Plays it over to Buttle. Now Grant has it. Plays it up to McGuire. Out to Hickey. Now Niall Watson with a long range shot. 2-0 to the Spartans. 3 minutes into the second half. Niall Watson with a beautiful, beautiful strike. Look at this. Keeper, you, you have a couple questions for him. But let's not take anything away from the strike by Watson. You don't win the lottery if you don't play. Free kick. Little whips it in. He was looking for Grant again. And it falls to Jordan Hickey. What a goal. We have had two very nice goals in this game. Jordan Hickey. Look at this again. Curling that in there. That was a beautiful, wow, incredible strike. And we're not done yet. We're looking for goal number four. Bevan whips it in. Jonathan Bevan getting an assist on his debut. Crossing it in for Niall Watson. 4-0 to the Spartans. What a great debut for our youngster. Bevan with a great ball. And Watson getting his second goal on the day. 
throw in for the Spartans here. It's whipped in by Connor Brown, and he picks out Nathan Buttle. 5 0 to the Spartans. What a showing we are putting on here today. Both center backs getting a goal. Connor Brown, an assist off the bench. 5 0. Beautiful. And there is the full time whistle. A dominating 5 0 performance from the Spartans. Grant opening up the scoring. Watson getting two goals. Hickey with a beautiful, beautiful goal. Carling it in there in the upper, upper 90. And Nathan Buttle rounding out the scoring. 5 0. And here is a look at the updated league standings after that game. Of course, we are still in fourth place. We have qualified for the playoffs now officially. And that two team race has quickly turned into a three team race. Outer shot on 88 points, Wrexham on 87, Chesterfield clawing their way back on 86 points. And then we are three points behind them on 83 points. But that is where we're going to end off this episode here today. Not a lot of games left in the season at all. We'll take on Foud there in the second leg. And we should then be in the FA Trophy Final. So next episode is going to be the playoffs. As I believe the FA Trophy is after the playoffs end. I am actually not sure. The draw will be on the 10th of April. Which is just two days after that second leg. But when is the actual final? It is going to be on the 20th of May. So if you look at the schedule here again. Yeah, it's definitely going to be after the playoffs. So next episode will be the playoffs. And then the final episode of the season will be the FA Trophy final. Assuming we don't have a Colossus collapse in the second leg. If you did enjoy this episode, why don't you go ahead and leave it a like down below. If you are new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and join the family. Hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. And until next time, it's been your Boyd147.